in the prayer group. He should repent first before we ask. And then I tried it. I need to work. It works. Then I realized, why are we asking so many things when we haven't repented? God told us to do this, do this, do this, but we are rebellious. And then we are asking so many things and we are wondering how come God is not replying. Because we are not aligned with God. We are asking not aligned with His will. But when we repent first, aha, that is the solution, my friends. That's why when I pray, I put first repentance, right? So when, when I was a kid, they said, you pray everything and then forgive us from our sins in the, in the, in the last. No wonder it wasn't working. Now I put the repentance front because that is the sequence in Acts 2. Repent and you will receive the Holy Spirit. Okay. The Holy Spirit is for us to be effective in God's work. Yeah? Amazing. Acts 2. Repent and you will receive the Holy Ghost. Wow. Sometimes I ask, this is just my testimony, I ask for the Holy Spirit, but uh, only, only few, because I'm not uh, thinking how to use it in God's Word. But when I, am, I need to preach, and then the, the people pray for me, I feel like there's plenty of Holy Spirit, because I want to share. But it was only for me, I'm selfish. <laughs> I want to have plenty of Spirit. It's still, parang hindi ko magana. Pero pag gagamit para sa church, for the sake of the church, it looks like God is pouring bonus on what I am asking, yeah? Very amazing, okay. So it is not for us only. <clears throat> Acts 2, 23. Him being delivered by to determine <clears throat> uh, to, to, by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Okay. Do you know? God knows everything. For knowledge. Yeah? So everything, you know, there's a saying, everything works for the good of them who love. So whatever happens, God knows the future. Yeah? There is another thought Ellen White was saying, a very comforting. She said that God will not allow bad things like death to happen to you. If you even if you are foolish, if He knows in the future you are going to repent. Ah, very nice. Very nice. If you are foolish now, but God knows you're going to repent in the future, God will keep you alive till you repent. Amen. Yeah, okay, when you repent, then you can be a martyr. <laughs> okay, but the dying for God is a bonus, yeah? Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Great will be the reward for so they were persecuted the prophets which are before them, yeah? Okay, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel, yeah? See, repent is there again. Repent is very important because we are like generator of sin. <laughs> Para tayo, ano, we are sinners. That's a profession. Yeah? Professional sinner. <laughs> sinners, repent ye and believe the gospel. <laughs> Before I was wondering why everybody is always asking for forgiveness. And then I read the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. Then I realized now it is true. <laughs> we all need to be forgiven all the time. 2 Corinthians 7 10. For godly sorrow, no worketh repentance. Wow. Do you know godly sorrow? You are sad because you committed something wrong. Yeah? Worketh repentance to salvation. Not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh dead. Okay. That is <clears throat> what happens. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Hebrews 12, lest there be any fornicator nor profane person as Esau, who for one more set of meat sold his birthright. So, fornication is, uh, what do you call that? Sleeping with not your wife, or sleeping with not your husband. Or profane person, what is profane? Anong profane sa Tagalog? Yung nagsasabi ng bad words? Tama ba nga? Nagbumura sir? According to Elder, yung nagbumura. <clears throat> For one morsel sold his birthright. So, no, itong morsel naman, let us not be impatient, yeah? Sometimes, food is more important than obedience, yeah? Okay, like, like iso. So, by the way, no matter, when, when we mention sin, I want to assure everyone, no matter how sinful we are, God can erase our sin, yeah? Very nice. Hebrews 12, 17, for ye know, for ye know how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, 
he was rejected and he found no place of repentance. Why was he rejected? Because he did not repent. But the Bible says, if we repent, we will be forgiven. So there is no reason we should not repent, yeah? Because 100% we are going to be forgiven. However, if we don't want to repent, ah, that is the sad, sad uh, thing that will happen like Esau. Though he saw it carefully with tears, there was no place of repentance. <coughs> Yan, ito ang very nice verse. Romans 2.4 Oh, despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance. God is very good. Amen? Amen? I don't know about you, but to me, God is very good. 